trails going every which way. Could explore for days. We just came from up there. And then we went down there and it was a dead end. So now we're gonna go around here and try and find our way back to the main trail back to the parking lot. Cross that bridge, and on that bridge. Banana slug sighting is only the second one I've seen this whole five day trip. I don't know if the drought is keeping them in or if we just haven't been hiking in the right places, but a little banana slug. Yay. I missed it the first time, but the railroad tracks for the skunk train go right past here apparently, so. If you're here at the right kind of time of day, you could see it pass by. That's cool. I hear the river. Just right there beyond those trees. This is so cool. Oh wow, this would be a cool spot for like a picture, Indiana Jones picture with the rock right there. Right? Yeah. Pretty jungly. Good double for South America, huh? dead ends right here. You want me to go check this out? You want to wait here? Or do you want to come? I just want to see where this goes real quick. I don't, I think we should probably head out pretty soon. But I'll just look real quick. Go down this way. I just want to see how close to the river it gets. But yeah, this is a little steep. This is 
getting quite dense. Wow. Yeah, that's getting a little steeper than I want to deal with today with these China flats on, but that goes somewhere cool. We'll have to come back and explore some more, probably to the river. Let's turn back and go back up. Okay, kiddo, you wanna head back? Right, we're gonna head out. Yes, for sure. This is a really cool place. As many times as we've been to Fort Bragg and I just never knew this was at the edge of the city. That's really cool. Alright, back that way. Oops. There's dim stairs. Which means the parking lot's over there. Otis, oh, Otis R. Johnson, not Otis T. Johnson. Otis R. Johnson Wilderness Park. 